it was amazing. I'm just really thankful. I just knew if I could make it to the final, I could potentially win it and at least get to London. So I'm really happy with the result. Eric set it up perfectly. You know, he took a, a gutsy race. A lot of guys don't like to take it out, but he's one of those guys that will. And um, I'm happy he did that. He's one hell of a runner. Uh, what were your thoughts on uh, Clayton Murphy? Was it past I was disappointed because obviously Clayton's one of the best guys in the 800 for US United States. So we're not bringing the strongest team there, but you know, things happen. He wanted to do the double and it just didn't work out for him, unfortunately. How important is this moment for you, especially after not even making the final last week of trials? It's very important. I have a lot of people doubting me. Gordon didn't doubt me though. You called it! Hell yeah! He called it, he was one of the few guys that called it. And I'm just really thankful for all the supporters that helped me get through this. And my coach really helped me out mentally, just called myself to get the win today. No, it's not, it's a season best. But I still have the collegiate record, that's my PR. So what's next for you? Um, I get to go home, see my friends and family. I've been waiting to do that for a while. So I'm gonna go home for maybe a week, a few days. Rest, this is my first time doing three rounds, so I really have to make sure my body gets proper recovery and then just get ready for some Diamond Leagues and then and Worlds. It does wonders. You know, I, this is my first big win since running for Nike and I just really wanted to prove myself that I'm worth what they got me for and I'm just worth running in the Nike uniform. What are your thoughts on the top two having me could have been sophomores in college? Do you guys end up in the future of the game? Uh-huh. I mean, it's great. I mean, you got Simmons that just retired. Dwayne, I don't know when he's coming back, but he's one hell of a runner. And you got all those guys in between, but I feel like the ones that are making the most noise is the one in lower college, at least. What did your coach tell you to do today? What was his advice? I got to do the PG version of what he told me to do, but he just he just said I got to get out there, you know, run like hell, get in my second position like I usually do, and when I feel like I'm ready to go, I got to go. And there's no second second down, so I have to go and just, and just be ready. Looking back on these past three races, are you going to make any adjustments for the next three races after that? I mean, no. I know I scared a lot of people coming in third, but I knew the first round I'd get through on time. The second round, I just kind of ran stupid. And then once I knew I'd get to the finals, I'd get a London spot. I didn't know how I do for position-wise, but I just knew if I could make finals, I could make my team to London. The first round, you really thought you were getting the time? You were yeah. nervous? Or? I, was, I was nervous. Were you nervous? What? Were you nervous? I was nervous for you, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was nervous. <laughs> I want to see the best guy in the bio. Yeah. Even after last year, I was like, what's he doing? Yeah, because Dwayne and I got out first round last year. And but your coach fine with you not getting in the top two that first round? Or he, he, like, he, he might have he he gave me some, some words, some, some choice of words he probably could use differently, but I, I just, yeah, words, words of wisdom, I guess. But he just said, I can't, I can't scare him like that. I'm giving him a heart attack for the little hairs that he does have. I'm giving him gray hairs, but, yeah. Any extra motivation this year since you didn't advance very well last year in the trials? Um, after a great A lot of motivation. You know, I just really wanted to prove myself. A lot of people just don't really think I deserve this spot to be here. I just really wanted to show that. You know, I'm 20, I'm one of the youngest dudes to make 800 in a long time. You know, Clayton was 20 at the time, but I think I'm a little bit younger. And um, I just really wanted to prove myself. You know, because I knew I could do it, my coach knew I could do it, my teammates knew I could do it. But you, you guys just didn't know I could do it. What's your schedule now up through London? Um, I'm going to go home, see my friends and family, take a proper recovery for rest because I haven't ran three rounds ever before in my life and just get ready to compete in some Diamond Leagues and then try, like, try to get a medal at London. Hey, what's the difference? Have you thought about what you need to do from where you are now to get on the medal stand? Um, not really. No, I was just really focused on USA's. You know, it's too steep a competition just be blowing them off like that. You know, there's really great guys here. And um, so yeah, I was just really focused on USA's. Thank you. I mean, the competition just is great, so why not? Yeah, I mean, Olympian, when you have that title, you know, it's great. I wish I could have done this a year earlier to claim that title, but you know, I'm happy I made the team now and I'm just trying to, you know, make it round by round, just keep going. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Congrats.